Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the ulnar nerve and some of the areas of the body that can cause compromise to the nerve. The ulnar nerve comes from the level of C8 nerve and T1. And C8, because there are eight cervical nerves and seven cervical vertebrae, the C8 will exit between the level of C7 and T1. So together they'll be called the ulnar nerve. And it passes through the anterior and the middle part of the scalene and then form this interscaling triangle and that's where it exits over the first rib and underneath the clavicle. Now on its way down into the hand it will locate itself around the medial epicondyle in here and sometimes the cause of a tingling to the hand, when I say the hand, the ulnar nerve in particular will give you altered sensation and it might affect the light touch if you touch that. She might not be able to sense that so well if you have an ulnar nerve issue. And the same if you're using something sharp or something blunt, they might not be able to detect the altered sensation. The ulnar nerve, as it comes down, it goes into the hand and it passes through a particular tunnel or canal and is called the Canal of Guillon. And this is located between the pisiform bone and the hook of hamate. So the, the canal here and then the tendon that comes down will be the flexor carpi ulnaris. And then between the piziform and the hamate will be what we call the piezohamate ligament and that will form the roof of the canal and that's sometimes where the, the nerve gets caught as it supplies to the little finger. Now if we have issues then I've already talked about its sensation but if you've got a motor supply issue then it supplies this hypophenar eminence and then in here what we can do is we can ask the patient to bring the thumb and the little finger together if that's okay can you do that? From, from a little finger together, like that. So we are using the opponens pollicis with the thumb, but we're also using the opponens digiti minimi, which is from the ulnar nerve to come across. And if I try to put my finger through and she can resist, then it tells me that the median nerve and the ulnar nerve is okay. Now, if we are weak, then we might not know, if, if I'm allowed to pass through, we might not know that it's an ulnar nerve or median nerve issue. So what we can do is ask the patient to push the little finger away, Okay, so maybe I'll come this side. So we push a little finger away. So we are using the abductor digiti minimi, and that's mainly by the ulnar nerve uh, innervation. So if that's weak, then maybe it's a problem. But it doesn't tell you where the problem is. So we can maybe do the, the tinel tap sign in here, named after Jules Tinel. And then if that brings on the symptoms, it might be related from here. Cyclists, because of the position of extension and ulnar deviation, then that nerve might get compromised through and also the pressure of the, of the handlebar in here. But a lot of times, ladies in particular, why? Because ladies have a curve and then that curve where the arms pass is called the carrying angle and then the medical word for the elbow is cubital and if the elbow is increased, they call it cubital valgus. So if it increases, then the ulnar nerve, as it exposes itself around the medial epicondyle, can be part of the problem here. And some people might have the nerve redirected because the problem's at the elbow rather than maybe coming from the hand or even at the base of the neck between the level of C7 and T1. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel.